Hi guys, in today's session, we are going to take you in the world of DAX Studio. Now we have seen the DAX query, how do we write a DAX query or a DAX statement in Power BI query editor or a formula or a measure we have to be in Power BI using DAX language, data analysis language. DAX is actually mean data expression analysis. This is a kind of language in which you gonna write a Power BI formula so that you can have your result. Meaning you going to have a calculation in Power BI platform. Now, DAX Studio. I am talking about the DAX Studio. Like what we have SQL Server SSMS for SQL, Postgre, I have PG Admin. For my SQL, I have SQL Bench, or you can say the SQL Developer I have. These are the IDEs, or you can say the platform where I gonna writing a SQL query. In the same manner, DAX in Power BI, we have a separate software, or you can say the studio, or you can say the IDE where I gonna write some DAX query, meaning going to write a statement in DAX language. So, what is DAX? Data analysis expression. What is DAX? I have seen writing the query in Power BI, but haven't seen in DAX Studio. Most of people are not familiar with what DAX Studio is. DAX Studio is the same as what we have SSMS, PG Admin, our SQL developer, our SQL Workbench for SQL. The same platform we have Dark Studio for Power BI, where I gonna write a statement using Dax query, using Dax language. So, what is Dax? Dax is very easy to write. You can write their statement. You can execute your written code, or you can modify. You can create your calculations, you can result scalar value, or you can have a result as a tabular value. You can do everything in DAX. So, before we go with the deep dive of DAX world, you need to install DAX Studio on your machine. So, how can you install and from where you gonna install to download and install on your machine, I will show you. Once you have, then you gonna install by clicking DAX Studio Download. Just write this one and then your DAX Studio official website is appear and you gonna download this one. This is a setup installer. And once you download this one, and from downloaded folder, you are gonna start for installation process. And during installation process, whenever an option will come to you as single user or all user, I recommend you please click all user so that you are gonna use all the features a DAX Studio has. Meaning, all the new features which has now newly included in DAX Studio. So, select all users. Then you gonna install on your machine. In this way, you gonna install on your machine. And once you have installed on your machine, then you will have the icon like this. And once you launch your studio, like I am going to launching my studio here. You can see a screen will pop up to you 
for connections meaning you have to connect your either server or your other pvi model or either a power pivot model let's see what does this mean so i want to show you as a documentation part once you launch you need to connect this kind of picture will come to you how to connect there are three options available here first power pivot model second pvi power bi desktop model or sql server data tools model or tabular server what does this mean power pivot model that means it is associated with your excel file microsoft excel file where you have some power pivot model included there for your project and this second is your power bi where you have gone through with the power bi in my last video if you haven't gone through then go to my youtube channel clash gupta 603 where you will found a several video based on a power bi available there so just go and get refresher from them and once you have a power bi open then you will get connected with this second option and now third one is your ssas meaning sql server analysis services you gonna have a connection with using this third option and for this you have to define here a sql browser service server number what is your server number is there you gonna specify in this case and then click connect you will get connected now i want to see these two option from excel and from power bi how do you get connected here i have open my power pivot model in excel here is a sheet containing a multiple records plus numerical value i make a pivot of this one you can show i make some a little a smaller font so that you can have the look what are we have in this model we have created a pivot table year wise and these are the components we have basis on that we have the sales amount over years here so i have a power pivot model here i want to open the same excel file model to the dash studio so what should you do in this case you have to download dash studio and you have downloaded dash studio then you will add clicking on add in option from your excel and from where you gonna find add in option just select this one and add in option is available here you gonna click this one and click your dash studio i have installed here dash studio you can see here add in dash studio once you have installed on your machine then you will find the options to select this one automatically you have add in option here otherwise you just go there and click add in excel add in and then you will find the options available here and then gonna select from there now i am selected from there and now then click okay in this way you will get add in menu added in your existing menu and under this add in menu we will have a dash studio icon so if you want that your excel project get connected with the dash studio you need to have add in dash studio dash studio icon and once you have dash studio icon under add in menu just click add in you find this one and please click i just click there 
See, once I click there, this window get open. I this is automatically get connected because system had found that power pivot model you are going to connect. You can see here is checked. These two box are blank, not checked. This is checked. And what is my file name, Excel file name? This is my Excel file name that is get connected. Now just hit connect. Once you connect, you have your table, what you have in your Excel. The same table you have, you can see what are the fields we have. We have, what are the fields we have, you can see here, year, this, industry name, units, variable code, variable, variable category, value, industry. So, what are the fields we have, we can see here, once you expand this one. We have all the fields, fields here, which I have in Excel sheet. So, in this way, you gonna connect your Excel sheets using Power Pivot model in DAX Studio. And what should you do? This is your area. This is your area, you gonna write your statement using DAX language. And in return, the result you would get after running this query under this area. Under this area. Now, there are two messages showing that you have establishing the connection and now you are connected with the log. Once you run the query and you have the result, then you will have in result options. And how do we get result behind the scene? What happens with your query so that you get the result? Your history will come up here. So, DAX Studio helps you to identify so that you should know if you gonna write your query in DAX language, what happened with this query so that I could get my result. Everything, every step gonna recorded in the history tab. Now see, I am going to write evaluate, evaluate. I have written evaluate. What evaluate mean? Evaluate mean you are going to retrieving the value. Meaning you are going to showing the record. The same like what we have select in SQL. In SQL environment, any statement or query you gonna write with select word. The same way I gonna write in DAX Studio with evaluate word. Evaluate and select meaning the same, but the IDs are different, languages are different, meaning the same. So evaluate, what should I display you? Evaluate meaning display. So what should I display you? I want to display variable category. So you gonna write variable category, but where is variable category? Variable category is a column name. If you go here, you can see here the variable category in Excel is your column name. And how does column produce? My question is that how would you get the column name? Be the table because if there is no table, no column. So you must have a table because you have a column and column are the part of your table. So what is my table here? Is the table name annual enterprise survey like this, like a very long lengthy name. But in DAX Studio, this is represented as table 1. So first you gonna write table 1. Table. Now you gonna see your column name. Now you gonna have the variable category. But in this way, if I gonna show you the table in table 1, what are the variable category? Meaning, this is going to show in table what is the variable category column is. So it will show you all the records. 
no matter it is duplicate or no just select this one and please make practice whenever you gonna execute your code from dax studio just before this just click format query so that this query get formatted in a way so that looks interactive so just click see i click this one and here is a space given but it will get automatically synchronized so this icon will do this job now select this one and there is a run button here once i run here by clicking this icon you will see from table one a single category variable category column only a single column you will see just run this waiting for a query result or you gonna show just write this one evaluate table one now you can see what is your result okay evaluate meaning display table one what is table one table one have a multiple columns and various records in it that's why a table one reflects you as a whole what you have in your excel the whole data the whole data is gonna reflect in your dax studio this is what a dax query mean this is a very basic now i am going to show you evaluate in table 1 in table 1 which column i want to have a unit unit but it will give a very long a whole column value but i want only the unique value will come up so what should i do i have to define here values values will give you a distinct value only meaning if level one level one coming a uh, many time it will show you as one time distinct value it gives you now see there are only three distinct units available in this here you can check in your excel sheets what are these three see here we have these three only three records unique value are available that's why it give us a three so whatever you have in your excel model power pivot model you gonna use either in excel or you can take help with the dax studio you gonna calculate everything as per your requirement in here and just make a copy of this or you have an option here to export or import option so export in csv form or excel form and then gonna start your reporting out so this is the way i've shown you using power pivot how to connect with the dax studio now closing this one now i'm going to use power bi desktop and from here i want to connect the dax studio and we already installed dax studio on my machine so what should i uh, what should the i do here just come up with the external tool you can see here external tool i have connected my power bi desktop with a uh, adventure work 2000 2020 data model you can see here the name of the data model is showing at the top once you have connected then under your power bi model you can have external tool and just click external tool you will found the dax studio icon here also and just click this one it will take you to the dax studio and you will get connected with the adventure work dw 
data warehouse 2020. Now you can see here what are the tables we have in this model. The tables what we have in my Power BI desktop we have 3, 3, 6, 3, 9 tables and now what we have here 3, 3, 6, 3, 9 tables. The same number of tables we have here in DAX Studio. In this way you gonna connect either from the Excel Power Pivot model or from the Power BI desktop. Either way you gonna have whatever requirement is you go, go going to write your query and have a result or the same way or the same calculation the way you gonna write here just copy paste into your Power BI desktop by clicking a new measure or new table you have the result here also. So these are the way I gonna connect in DAX Studio. Now, what DAX Studio help us? Why do I connect here? Why should not I work in Power BI? Why should not I work in Excel? See, these are the options is available or you can say the facility is available by the Power BI or the Microsoft so that your both tools get connected with your DAX Studio and DAX Studio is your for learning and understanding the logic how your DAX query gonna work. While working in DAX Studio you write your query once you run, you have a result. But what happened in between ways? Meaning writing query and have a result. In between what happened with your query? And how do you get your result? Those events will get recorded in that studio. Now let's see. I am going to write a basic DAX query here also. With this. Power BI Adventure Bug 2020 model. Now start evaluate, evaluate meaning show, evaluate customer, my customer table. I am going to display the customer table, whole customer table. So select this one and just like run. Now you can see your whole customer table come up here. Your customer table containing a seven columns and around 18,000 of records. You write the query and then you got a result. But what happened with your query? How did you get the result? Please come up with this hasty tag. This hasty tag will show what happened with your query. You get 18,000 of records 50 minutes in within 15 milliseconds. You are connected with the Power BI model and this is your database. Everything is written here and this is your Query, evaluate customer you have written here. If you connected with a SQL server and in a SQL server you have a SQL profiler, we show you what this query revert you result. There is a SQL, a SQL query running behind. This is what a SQL uh, DAX Studio is all about. DAX Studio help you if anything you found wrong then you go and troubleshoot it. We will see in later video so that I will check what other scenario will come and how do we found 
a SQL query running behind my DAX query because I am writing here in DAX language and it runs like a SQL query. We'll show you in my later video once I go through with the sessions of DAX Studio. So as of now, you can understand only how to be write DAX query in DAX Studio. This is a basic query I have written here. Now I will show you what are the multiple query I have through with all this one. Now I am going to show you how to be write a basic uh, some little complex query I can show you. I have seen you evaluate customer meaning please see show all the customer tables. So I have the result. Now I am going to show the customer CT. So here I want to show customer CT because in customer table I have a CT column. You can see here. And in CT there is a intelligence coming here and it shows in this is a column type and this is a data type string and we have 270 as a distinct value. Maximum value is your sample like this kind of city we have Bautiful, Brown Wake, Cincinnati, Color Station. These are the sample, randomly sample uh, system will showing you. So I'm going to check in customer table city column. So just select this one. But there are are multiple city here so i want to have a unique city meaning distinct value so you have to write a values in values once you write the values we show you unique in sql you gonna write distinct in tax you gonna write values now just select this one and run this you have these unique distincts here Unique distincts here. If you want to have a sum calculation, then we should write DAX query in DAX Studio for calculation also. Now start evaluate sum of In sales table, we have sales amount. So I'm going to sum the amount of sales column. So here I gonna write first sales table because if there is no table, then there is no column. So first indicate your table, then you gonna write sales amount. Now this will work in Power BI while you creating a measure. Now I gonna show you. In Power BI just right click create measure and here write the sales sales. Now just copy this one and paste here. Now hit enter. You will have the sales amount here. No error comes in. If I want to show you how much sales, just drag this one, put it here and drag sales amount here. This is your sales amount in Power BI using creating a measure. But the same formula I want to run here. Let's see what happened. First, before execute this query, just click format query icon. Now this will get arranged automatically. Now run this. First let's see. What would you expect? If you answer or error, please comment out. See. In result, do you get anything? No. Because in this way you have a single answer. Because sum of sales amount will give you a single answer. 
as what you have seen you found a single answer but tax studio will not give you a single answer it will give you as a table so how is it possible i want single answer but in tax studio how is possible is it possible it is possible but you need to place a constructor what constructor mean construction constructor is a value so that this constructor will help you for converting your table value into a scalar value and what constructor is your curly bracket this is your constructor now let's run this now you have the result last time we didn't get why because these are the dax studio like the sql language we gonna write in ssms or sql developer or postgresql or pg admin or work bench whatever id i gonna write have to learn how to write sql the same way you have to learn what is dax and how to write dax if you gonna write then you gonna have a differentiation then when we use in power bi we get the answer but once i use here in dax studio we receive an error why so once you have a practice with the dax studio you will get experience and with experience you create your own formula the way what you have done with the excel once you familiar with the excel you gonna create by your own choice your own formula so do, so that you have a calculation as per your requirement in the same manner once you familiar with the dax language you will do whatever you want to do so in this way i have used a constructor once i use a constructor i get a scalar value meaning a grand total like value singular value now what i want i want this to be as a dollar formatted like what we have here i want this to be dollar formatted then you have to a format but where is the format option in excel i gonna just in excel i just gonna there and select this dollar sign and this become a dollar but in power bi you have a dollar sign in modeling part or you just click this one you will have a dollar sign currency or dollar sign you just click your number get formatted but in this case so you have to write your tax query for every part so i am going to write here format this one as a as a currency i am going to formatting formatted as a currency of this grand total value now let's run this not come here why is not accepting currency now run this way it will also not work why just fix this one use fix with two decimal point let's see now first format this nothing error comes in meaning statement is correctly written now run this nothing come here showing error so with the constructor i want to show you every step with the constructor it will not get formatted 
Now let's run this. The result as what we did last time. So I am going to show you more theory. Now this time I am going to filter some customer value. Now what should I want? I want to filter out few value. So evaluate. I might I am taking a customer table. So right customer you can see here customer table. And in customer table, and in customer table, I am going to use customer table in which column? City column. And what I want? I want city as a red mount to be filtered out. But how to write calculate table? Here you have to write calculate table. Meaning, please show me a table of table of customer table where customer city would only be red month. Please show me a table of customer table record where only city is red month available. Meaning you are going to filter in customer table where customer city equal red month. Please show me as a table. This is what this query means. Let's see what is this one. The same evaluate calculate table customer table customer city equal red month. And here I have given double quotation mark. I have given single quotation mark. Let's see the result first because I am going to show you the concept. If I directly put it here a double quotation, then I know the result would come, but let's see if I gonna write a single quotation mark. Is it a good way also to write have a result? Now check this one. No. So you gonna write always a double quotation here. Now you have a result. In this way, showing a table and the data is available from customer table where customer city is Redmond only. You can see city is only Redmond. And how many records do we have now? We have only 94 records. You can see here in below. So this is the way you gonna have a result as a table. And last time you can you have seen that. I found a total sales amount as a scalar value using a constructor meaning curly bracket. Now I am going to show you the next thing. Next thing what I want, I want only those records is available in my result where CT gonna start with only a one character R. So same thing here I have written this one. I am not going to filter here, where CT equal using left function as what we have in Excel, left function from the same customer CT, from the same customer CT, if I gonna select one, CT equal, if I gonna select one, should be R or you gonna say this should be R. If you have open bracket then you need to close this one by giving the your final closing bracket. So what does this mean? Please show a table like this what we received last time from the customer table where customer city equal when I gonna use customer city start with R because this is I have le used here left meaning I have used here one character left. Or you gonna see here what would be the result here I have written the values of customer city okay that's fine here it makes a distinct value and left and city here equal R 
here written like this. So I am going to write this one same. So I am gonna write here this one and here I am gonna write one character from the left, left side and this should be equal R. Meaning if I go to select one character from the customer city, that character would be R. Those city, please show me. Let's see. First, click the format query. Did we get any error? Nothing. That means I have retained this query correctly. Now, run this. But there is an error because it works only when you are going to write values. Values. So, in this way, you can see here customer table which I have defined here is not required. This is what error comes in. Now, values from the customer city, this one equal this equal R. Now, let's format query first. Now, query is formatted. Now let's run this. Now I have all the cities displayed here which starts from R. So these are the way you're gonna write your basic query. Now this one basic query you're gonna also create your measure. As what we have created measure by right click and paste the formula here and we got, we got the result here as a total says. The same way you are going to create your measure here. But how? For that, you have to wait for that. Because there are a little complex way. If I just jump there directly to show you, it's going to very uh, mixing type of topic would be. So, uh, you would not be, you would not be able to understand this time. So, First of time because uh, this is a first video over a Jack Studio, so I'm not going to have such type of complex query using in this session. So let it be for coming video. So I'm gonna show you how Dax Studio will help us. Is the main reason that. Whenever you're gonna write query in that studio, it is very, it is different experience you will feel from the Power BI or Power Pivot. Because that studio will help you with your answer and you have to find your answer yourself and you make your, uh, wrongness at any place you find any issues, you should yourself go to troubleshoot it and get it corrected and this will happen once you through with uh, 10 or 12 session in DAX or you gonna familiar with DAX studio and the DAX language then you will do it by yourself I am sure because I am doing this time so you will also do it wait for the next video to come comes in thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe this channels